Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today I want to talk to you about this incredible book that I have just finished reading, which was inspired by the KonMari method. The book is entitled The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. I came across this book very randomly when I was on YouTube and I was looking at different ways of decluttering my house and this really spark joy for me. Now, Marie actually has got such a massive media presence at the moment. She was on the Ellen DeGeneres show. She was on countless TV shows and her method is blowing up across YouTube. And I was watching all these videos of people cleaning their houses, which sounds weird as hell, but I was like, what the hell are these people doing? And why is this so popular? Anyway, I gave it a go. It really does change your life. It is more than just tidying. It is, to me, a self-love practice. You guys know that I'm all about love, healing, or blockages because I'm massively into holistic health and wellness. And this is now a part of my self-love practice. And I gave it a go. I'm fully hooked. And this is why I'm sharing with you right now. So the KonMari method basically helps you declutter your house and work out what you need to discard and items that spark joy. You basically go through five different categories, clothing, books, papers, kimono, which is basically like a miscellaneous, and then your sentimental items. You follow that correct order. The reason why is because clothing is a lot easier to discard than sentimental. It basically uses your intuition, which I love, and it helps you identify what you like and what you don't. It is going to be a little bit moving for you as you discard some items, but let me tell you, it is going to be worth it. I was reading so many reviews of people that have done this and they were saying that just tidying up their house, they now only have items that spark joy. From doing that, it's now became a bigger picture and some people have even quit their jobs because they're like, this doesn't spark joy anymore. Why am I doing something that doesn't spark joy? And I was like, whoa, that is truly profound. Anyway, long story short, when you begin um, the KonMari method, what you need to do is visualize. This is another reason why I love this, is to visualize the space that you want or what's the desired result that you want. For me, I wanted to become a minimalist. I wanted to become modern. I wanted to be proud and I just wanted to have things that reflected who I am instead of things that I had picked up for free because I'm like, oh, it's free, let's keep this. Like furniture in my house, I've picked up on the side of the road. And I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. I need a couch, let's use that. But they didn't spark joy. Um, so once you have visualized what you want, then you need to ask yourself, why do I want this? To me, I'm like, why do I want to become a minimalist? I want to become a minimalist because I don't think that items, I don't want to be materialistic. You know, I've learned from my experiences that less is more for me and that works truly best. Now, don't get me wrong, the KonMari method is not about minimalism at all. But if your um, vision is about minimalism, then that's going to be amazing. If you want your house to be um, inviting and romantic because you want to invite a partner in and you're trying to manifest him. I've made a video about that, by the way, it works. Um, then that's what you need to visualize. And then you need to ask yourself, why do I want this? Once you have identified those two things, then you can begin the KonMari method. So you then start from the first category, which is clothing. So you need to find every piece of clothing in your house. So we're not doing room by room, we're doing by category. So if you have clothing in your car, in the washing, in your dirty clothes basket, if you have some at your mom's house, at your sister's house, your best friend borrowed something and never returned it, you need to get all of that stuff in one area, take it out of the cupboards, shove it in the room. I did mine on the floor on my bed. And then what you do is you grab your phone, once you've downloaded the KonMari app, then what you're going to do is go through the first category. Going to find all my tops, put them into a category. 
Then you go all the way down into bottoms, dresses, outwear, socks and stockings, all of that. So you have all of these subcategories. Each category, what I want you to do, I'm so excited about this by the way, is we're going for tops. We grab all the tops and then we pick up each item at a time and you say to yourself, does this spark joy? We're using our intuition to help us. Our body instantly knows if we want something. If we're like, oh, I don't know, or does this actually spark joy? Or I'm like, no, nah, that doesn't spark joy. Then you get rid of it. You put that in your discard pile, which is going to be massive, by the way. <laughs> um, so you have your two piles, and then you do that across all of your different subcategories. So then you've got a mountain of clothes in your discard pile, and then you've got a pile of everything that sparks joy for you. I got rid of underwear like knickers that would give me muffin top and were like suck me in. I had knickers that were too big when I used to have a fatter butt. And now that I've been exercising as a part of my self love practices, it's getting tight and toned, which is amazing. So if you're going through like a fluctuance of like weight and you're like, oh, when I get skinnier, I can wear this, blah, blah, blah. Don't do it. If it doesn't spark joy for you, get rid of it. If it does, fabulous, but you need to be very truthful with yourself. You know how sometimes you lie to yourself and you're like, oh, I really want this. Like this sparks joy for me, like totally sparks joy. And then you look at it in your cover and you're like, I'm never gonna wear that. Like I'm only holding on to that because my sister gave me this at her wedding and blah, 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 blah. By the way, Em, if you're watching, yes, I did get rid of the dressing gown you gave me when we got ready for your wedding, but it doesn't spark joy because it's satin and it makes me really, really sweaty. <laughs> okay, so, yes. <laughs> and I know she's gonna be watching this. Hi, Em! Um, so, once you have got your items that spark joy and ones that discard, the ones that you can discard, you can sell it, give it to charity shops, whatever works truly best for you, bundle them up and get them the hell out of your room. Now we are left with all of the items that spark joy, unless you have lied to yourself, but hopefully that hasn't happened. So once you have all of those items, what you need to do is we're gonna look at how to store them. The KonMari method insists that folding is the best way to store your clothes. Unless they are bigger, bulkier items or clothes that are gonna really crease, I was left with hardly anything. The amount of hangers that I got rid of, I was like, what? Where are all my clothes gone? Um, which was amazing. Um, so when I was folding the clothes, there's a very certain way or very particular way to store your clothes. Um, the KonMari method basically wants you to have all your clothes standing up. I have them this way. So it's like in my drawers, if you have a look on the screen right now, if I open the drawers, I've got three rows of clothes. On the left side, I've got all my t-shirts. In the middle, I've got dresses. And on the right hand side, I've got all my workout clothes. Then when I go further down, we've got all our winter clothes and jeans and then beautiful dresses, like winter dresses that don't really need to be folded, but why the hell did I have them on a hanger the whole time and they don't even need to be ironed? I'm really lazy. I have about three items that need to be ironed and the rest don't, which is amazing. Um, yes, so that's basically it. I'm gonna make, um, make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I'm gonna be sharing videos on how to correctly fold. So then we move on to our second category, which is books. This was a truly difficult one for me because I had an emotional attachment to books that were given to me from Dr. Master Jigan Shah. Some of the books were 70 US dollars each and I was like, oh my God, I haven't read them and blah, 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 blah. KonMari basically says to you, you, if you're not sure if it sparks joy, which I wasn't, she says, would you ever buy this book again? And I was like, no. So then you discard it. I was like, what? If I'm not gonna buy the book again, get rid of it. And I was like, what, this is so sad. I've got half the books in my bookshelf I haven't read. And I was like, oh, I'll read them. She's like, if you haven't already read them, you're never going to read them. There's always gonna be something that's going to come up and something new that you're learning about and something more interesting that you're going to find yourself submerged in. Emerge, not submerged. <laughs> so that was really like a knife to the chest. And I was like, what? Oh, I love these books. So I found that really hard to get rid of. Um, if you've got a massive book um, case, take everything off. Everything needs to be on the floor. It's the same method. Pick each one up and say, does this spark joy? If you feel like it definitely does, keep it. If you're not sure, then just say to yourself, 
would I buy this book again? If the answer is yes, then keep it. If not, then just get rid of it. Then we put them back on the shelf. Komari actually says to avoid bookshelves because you can just clutter them up. And she should suggest that you keep um, a space in your actual wardrobe to put them, but whatever works really best for you. The next one is paper. I love this rule about paper. She's like, get rid of everything unless they fall into these categories. Items currently in use, items to keep indefinitely, such as items for your tax return. And there was another one, but I can't remember what it is. That's truly helpful. I don't know what the other one is, but read the book and you'll find out. Um, I love that. I was keeping blood test results from um, when I first became B12 deficient and I was like, oh yeah, because now I'm not. I was like, oh yeah, I, I, I was this low and now I'm this and blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't need that. That doesn't spark joy for me. So I basically got rid of most of my papers and I now have just two folders actually. That's why I can't remember the third one for some reason. I have like my birth certificate, my um, certificate from when I studied plant-based nutrition, when I became a primary school teacher, my passport, and then that's really it. Oh, and I've got a couple of years um, documents from when I, like from my previous tax returns that you've got to keep for like five to seven years. I thought that was really liberating. Then the next one was kimono, which is Japanese for like miscellaneous. This one was amazing because in my kitchen, um, for example, we had so many knives and forks that I had to like stack the forks one way and then stack them this way so they would fit in the drawers. Now we have five forks, five knives, five spoons, blah, 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 blah. Everything's in fives and I love that. Except, well that's our cutlery, but our plates is like four, 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 four. And I opened my drawers and I was like, oh, this sparks so much joy. Like I really love that because I'm like, Hey, we're missing a plate. Peter, do you have a plate in your in your in the bedroom? And I was like, actually, no, it's me, it's on my side. I thought that was amazing. And then the last one is sentimental. So basically, go to each category, then each subcategory, grab everything in your entire house, put it on the floor, and then go through and pick each one up and say, does this spark joy? It's that simple. Give it a go, my loves. I know that you are going to love it. If you have already started the KonMari method, comment below, let me know what's going on because I would love to hear from you. If you are in the process of cleaning, then get me on Snapchat, Melanie Kate Love, and show me the process because I, I find this so interesting. So now I'm in the process of selling all my furniture in the living room because none of it sparks joy. I'm filming today in my bedroom because this place sparks joy. I love my bed, but I've been actually doing some interior design um, studying and I realized that these lamps actually need to be in alignment actually a little bit higher than my bed head. So these two will be going into my new living room when we move soon because they don't spark joy because I like things to be perfect. I just learned so much. I hope you haven't enjoyed this. Please make sure that you subscribe for updates because I'm gonna keep you up to date with how to fold your clothing because it is truly important. And when I have finished and I have moved into our new house, we're gonna be finding out today if we actually get the house that we are wanting. And I'm pretty sure it's a yes because the universe has been giving me so many beautiful signs. Um, I'm gonna be decorating the KonMari way and then once my house sparks joy, I'm gonna show you. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. It's been a pleasure to share with you. I hope that you continue to make better choices as you continue on your journey to become your greatest version. I love you, I love you, I love you. Please make sure that you comment, like, share, subscribe, the whole lot. I love you and I will see you next episode. I love you so much. Bye, my loves. Have an amazing day. Oh my God, my throat is so sore from talking. <laughs> love you so much. Goodbye.